Welcome Long Beach City College students. If you are in my English 1 section number 70531, this video is for you. Normally I would just make one that would be for both these classes, but they're slightly different. Uh, this class is an online asynchronous, which means that while we do not meet, I will be presenting you with little video introductions to what we're doing each week. Uh, this is not that. This is going to be our intro to what this Canvas page looks like. So this is our home page. Some good stuff on there. Um, as far as what you're going to want to look at, um, as students, you may find it interesting to look at the assignment page. Certainly do, you know, keep up with the grade page. Uh, I don't see any reason why you need to click either of these pages, files. I mean, unless you want to access all the files are just listed together in, in one line. That's not the really, that's not the way you're supposed to view, to view, view the course. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it that way. Uh, rubrics should, well, does have some rubric information on there for you. Uh, syllabus you'll find on our module page. Let's see what's over here. Of course, you got your courses, your uh, message system in Canvas. You can reach me there any anytime. And mainly, as far as the course, you'll look at this page, which is your home page. You know, feel free to you know use these other navigational links. Certainly, the quizzes we do have quizzes in this course. Uh, but mainly, you'll want to view it through the module link. So I'll click that right here. It brings you to the page that it's about to bring us to. Here we are. All right. So as we get started here with our uh, Canvas page, you'll note we have the class orientation module first. So you have our, our syllabus, uh, calendar of assignments, readings, videos, stuff about me, intro to the Canvas page, which I'm going to replace with this video I'm making right here. So there's some intro videos, some great student resources. So I would take a look at those. And then I have uh, all the, any textbooks you would need for this course are right here. Um, mainly the one that we would be using the most would be this one here. Everything's an argument. So there's a PDF provided of that. The weekly instructions I just provide on the, um, I will go here and I will put announcements here about what we're doing each week. I'm going to put that first one up here in just a few minutes. All right, so once you get past that, you'll see all the video lectures. At least all the like important ones are here. It's not like every one I've ever made in my life, but yeah, like I said, all the important ones are there. And it's like I have to move this one around a little bit. I during this semester that I took this from, I had changed some things like the order of my. Um, essays around. I didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm going back to the way I've been doing it for basically forever. Um, yeah, I didn't like starting with art with the argument. So I'm, I'm, I will fix a, a few things up here, but to make this look right. But this is our, our first essay is going to be our photo essay, not anything else. So I will switch that to essay one and move the other numbers around. So everything looks looks right. But we're going to start with a photo essay where you're going to provide uh, or basically create a photo essay. There's a separate video just on that. Uh, it is, I'm going to say, I know I've made it. I don't even know if I put it up here yet. Perhaps not. I will add that. I have it in my, um, in my YouTube channel. Yeah, but I haven't added up here yet. 
Interesting. All right. Well, I can do that. That's like I said, I've already done that. It's real easy. So I'll put the video up here uh, today that tells you how to write a photo essay. There are numerous examples here, resources, and then yes, essay two is going to be argument. Like I said, I'll change all the rest of those numbers around so they'll look like this one here and this one here so that all the numbers match up correctly. And then our third essay will be the visual text analysis. Sorry, I'll, I'll make those corrections on, on my own time. Uh, as you can see in the modules, you have the prompt, usually at least one sample. Here we have two, there's a, actually three. There are three different ways that you could approach essay three. You could even make a video essay. We'll talk more about that as we get closer to it, just for this one. That's not, that is not an option that exists for any other essay, but for essay three, there is a video essay option. So that's fun. And there is an example there. Uh, the picture prompts are an activity we're doing in this unit. We'll talk more about that. And mostly here you have, uh, you know, lectures, lectures, video lectures, resources that you would need for this. Uh, for this one in particular, the film terminology is one that you'll want to use a lot. And then you have your essay four. That's all lined up. Everything looks right there. So you have the prompt, samples, lecture, le video lecture materials, and then uh, any other assignments and, you know, basically related links and things that help you to write the essay. The uh, multi-genre, which is more of a fun piece, and the research paper. And the modules are basically all organized the same way. You have your, uh, you know, assignment on top, lectures, video lectures. Uh, in this case, there are some other parts to other activities for the research paper and some resources there. The visual text project is something we do around the time of visual text analysis. I think I gave, I gave it its own section this time, so it doesn't actually overlap with anything else. And we might be doing that closer to the end. There's no in-class essay because we don't do that any with uh, with an on online class. And the free rights, we're replacing those with discussion, so those you won't see either. And then there's a reading section. See all the readings for each essay, videos for each essay. The grammar section has a lot of good information there. The uh, lecture, an extra credit activity, video lectures, and readings and resources that deal with grammar. There's a revision section just on how to revise. This is a presentation I put together about revision. The rest of these are resources. And then there are numerous extra credit opportunities in this course. Cool. That should be pretty much most of what you see on the page. All right. And please do let me know if you need anything. My email here. I'll at the syllabus here. My email is rdefrance at lbcc.edu right there. Uh, if you need anything, please contact me right here uh, or also right here. All right, have a great day. Thank you.